Hello, Art490. Welcome to fall semester 2022. I'm Glenn. I'll be the instructor for your class. And in the next couple of days, I'm going to make a longer, more detailed welcome video that really goes through the class. But I wanted here on Monday of week zero, registration week, I wanted to say hi and also to uh, get you started. You're probably watching this YouTube video inside of our class Padlet. Uh, to get you started on Padlet. So Padlet is just a, a website where different people can post a bunch of stuff, uh, words, images, whatever. Um, so what I'd like you to do is drop by Padlet and make an account. Make a free account, don't pay any money. You don't need to make your own board. You're just making an account so that if you can actually just post without an account, but then it just says anonymous. And we're not here to be anonymous. We're here to claim our identity. We're here to build our careers. So go ahead and make an account so that when you contribute to the class Padlet, um, it'll have your name on it. And I would encourage you to use your real name, your physical world name, not your internet handle. Um, internet handles are great. But I think as we move forward as professionals, you know, there is this kind of balance between sort of social media, new media, and tra old media, traditional media, traditional gatekeepers. I think both worlds have some appreciation for the power of the other, and they definitely use the other, but there also is kind of a non, a, a lack of respect for the other. So it's, it, you kind of have to thread both at the same time. We'll talk more about that in the future, but I think as you move into your career, um, focusing on your real name rather than your internet handle, rather than whatever name you thought was cool when you were in high school, will be more beneficial. Uh, a point which I will go on about more in the future is that everything I ever say this semester is a suggestion. It's the best advice I have to offer. It's never a rule, it's never a requirement, it's never a you must. This class, more I think maybe than any class you've ever taken in your life is not about the instructor. Quite literally, who gives a crap what Glenn thinks? We are not here to please Glenn. Uh, we are here to build our own career. So the good news is you don't have to worry about me, uh, but you know, to get, it, to get a C from me would be a pretty low bar. To get an A from me would still be a pretty low bar. To build the career that you want to build in art is a much higher bar. So the good news is you don't have to please me, but the, I won't call it bad news, the challenging news is that I hope you will really do the work, a lot of it this semester, and build the career that you want to build as you move from the school of art to the rest of your life. Therefore, when I say please use your real name, not your internet handle, that's like everything else, is never an absolute requirement. It's not a, you know, you don't pass the class. This isn't about passing the class. I cannot emphasize enough that all of the bullshit that structured education has shoved down your throat for all of these years, forget all of it. We are here for one reason and one reason only, to build your career. I think your real name is going to serve you best. If you have a different opinion, if you think, you know, this is, this is the internet handle that I go by and this is how I'm going to build my career, then feel free to ignore what I think and, you know, make a Padlet account with your internet handle instead. And that'll be true of everything. So uh, go ahead and make a, a Padlet account, hopefully with your real name or whatever you prefer. And then uh, make a post and say hi. Say something about yourself. Talk about what your, your career goal is. We're going to focus on that, number one, next week. We can't do anything unless we know what our goal is, so that's our first step. Uh, your goal may change, but at least as of today, what you think it is. Or if you're not sure, then list the three things. I'm, I'm immediately going to tell you those are three great choices. Pick one, but you know, list what you're spinning around in your head. I really, my passion is fiber art workshops. Maybe I really want to pursue that. Uh, I like graphic design, but not as much, but I see an easier path to building a career and paying rent with graphic design. There is no correct answer to that choice. You could go purely on passion and say, I'm going to do the fiber art workshops and make that work. Or you could say, you know, I'm going to choose like getting started, paying rent, getting, you know, rolling and I'm going to do graphic design and in two, five, 10 years, we'll think about it. Do I miss that other thing or was it okay? So, uh, Make a Padlet account, come by the Art490 Padlet, say who you are, anything you want to share about yourself. It's 
for sure your career focus, other aspects of your life, hobbies, interests are fine. Show us some work, one piece, a bunch of pieces, whatever you like. Um, and then read everybody else's Padlet because the first thing I'd like you to do is pick an accountability partner. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the, the concept of an accountability partner. Some of you it's probably new to. It's pretty much what it sounds like. We all have goals that we would really like to meet and our life is filled both with things that we must do that take up a lot of time and then just endless distractions, right? I mean, you know, Instagram, TikTok, there are so many different apps on your phone that you can spend the whole day just scrolling through them. And to me, a lot of that stuff is, it's kind of like candy. It's, it's, uh, it's pleasing, it's, you know, it's, it's enjoyable, but it's not really helpful or nourishing or getting you anywhere. So with all of these responsibilities and all of these distractions, it's, it's easy to let your own career, the thing that should be number one, slide. So your accountability partner, another classmate in Art 490 who you, I think checking in once a week is not nearly enough. Checking in every single day might be a lot. So what I'm gonna suggest is if you check in with each other three times a week. So let's say two times by text and one time a week, hop on Zoom together for a couple minutes and hopefully you become friends, hopefully you empathize, but there is a little bit of, you know, drill sergeant to it also. Um, your accountability partner is never gonna ask you to do stuff that you don't choose to do. It's not assignments that are irrelevant. It's only ever going to be your stuff, what you have set out for yourself. So they're just holding you accountable to you. And, you know, it may be that just the simple idea of knowing that you're going to kind of, you know, text with them later tonight is enough to, to motivate you to, to get the work done. So uh, welcome, more information in the next few days, but for starters, drop by Pad, Padlet the place, make an account with, a, with whatever name you're gonna use, um, and then come to the Art 490 Padlet, tell us your story, what your, your career focus is gonna be, uh, show us some work, and then peruse around and maybe say, hit someone up. So we'll do three, so uh, it's, you know, it's the, the semester is 16 weeks, or 15 weeks plus finals, and I'm throwing in reg week, so from zero to, Five, we'll have one accountability partner, then we'll change from six to 10, and then we'll change again from 11 to 16. So it's, you're not stuck with this person for life, but we'll poke around and, and hit somebody up. And you can just message them. You can comment on their Padlet post. Hey, like what you're doing, this is what I'm doing. Would you be interested in being accountability partner and see how it goes? So welcome, I hope you have a great semester. Honestly, I hope you work your ass off. I hope you blow off your other classes. You're flaky at work. Your boyfriend and girlfriend hates you because you never see you anymore. Uh, your family wonders what you're up to because you're spending all your time not pleasing Glenn. Nobody gives a crap about Glenn pleasing yourself, building the career that you want to build. So welcome. Let's get started. Let's build careers. Let's be artists.